What is up everybody? I hope you're all doing well. Today we are checking out the Honeybee Overdrive by One Control. Now this is obviously uh, Bjorn uh, Yule's design. Uh, uh, if you know who that is and what that is, then you know what this is. Now this, according to One Control, is I believe a revision four, and they're saying it's it's the best model yet, according to their website, and do go to the website and read about this. Um, there's been a revisions on uh, the nature control. There's been revisions on the mid-range. There's things that have happened that have been tweaked. This one has all of those tweaks, plus I believe like six dB more uh, drive or uh, gain. But go to the website and, and check all of that out. I, I will say, and I did mention this about another pedal that I demoed by One Control. These enclosures are really, really nice looking. This one, I, I wish I was a better photographer because um, this is hard to capture on camera, but it, it's a really nice, nice looking enclosure. Uh, okay, so on the top of the pedal, it's really straightforward. You've got your volume. Uh, that's obvious. You've got your nature control. We'll get into how that sounds in the demo. And then uh, on the right up there, you've got your drive control. That's obvious, it's your amount of overdrive. This isn't obviously a high gain pedal, but it's really open and, and responsive and we'll get into how that works in the demo. Right below that, you have a switch for vintage and modern. Uh, both positions sound great. We'll get into how uh, that sounds in the demo as well. So without uh, further yammering on, let's check out uh, the One Control Honeybee Overdrive. Okay, let's see how this thing sounds. Uh, here's just my guitar into the amp. Got it dialed pretty clean. We'll make the pedal do all the work. Here's the honeybee.
Okay, so I was just noodling around there, uh, just kind of dialing it in, checking the gain range and all that stuff for you guys. Uh, let's start, let's go back to, you saw that I threw this switch. Let's go back to the down position, which is the vintage mode. And let's just check that out really quick. I'll go ahead and shut the pedal off. So there's just uh, the amp again. I'll turn the pedal on. So I've got the pedal, you know, boosting quite a bit. I think it sounds great about right there. We can hit it harder and really crank the front end of the amp. But I thought about right there was pretty usable with all the other settings. Let's check the gain range. So that's the gain all the way off. If we turn the pedal back up, the volume. We're not going to get a massive difference. It's uh, obviously tied to the amount of, I should say, drive. Now we can start turning that back down. Pretty usable range. This would be a great box, uh, obviously, as an always on. Here's the drive all the way up. Pretty touch sensitive, even with the, the gain all the way up. Obviously, this isn't a high gain pedal. Well, I've got the gain all the way up. Let's just go ahead and sweep uh, this uh, uh, nature control. All the way to the right. It's going to be basically its brightest as we start going the other way. You start hearing more low end. get pretty wooly. Uh, this is a pretty dialable control. I like it around there. But even all the way to the right, it sounds pretty clear. It never gets like strident or harsh. Now, uh, without changing anything, uh, only, let's leave the uh, nature's uh, control right there. I'm going to go to the modern setting. More upper mids. A uh, little bit more gain, maybe a little bit more low end as well. That's with the gain all the way up. For me, I think if I, if I was going to use this pedal uh, more as a standalone, like straight ahead drive pedal, I would be more apt to use it, I think, in the, the modern. It's got more gain. It cuts a little bit more, especially in that neck position. If I need a little bit more, I can adjust that nature switch. kind of sizzle up there in the modern uh, side but it does sound really great you know I'll turn the gain down so I think if you wanted the box to have a little bit more sizzle up top maybe sound a little more uh, modern uh, that's what that switch is for uh, it sounds really cool one thing I do want to do and I almost never do this but I think with this box it's kind of calling for it as we're hearing it through a really, really clean amp, I want to see what it sounds like through an amp that's uh, breaking up just a little bit. So I've got my Friedman on. It's a, uh, a Dirty Shirley. It's an older one. It's the 40 watt uh, amplifier. And I've got it set right now to break up. 
not a lot, but it's, you know, it's, it's what I would consider a semi broke up tone, <laughs> semi overdriven. Let's see what we can get out of the box, uh, hitting that amp. <laughs> In this uh, vintage setting, I immediately wanted to brighten it up a little bit. So if I just wanted more of what I've got, that's pretty much doing it. If I throw to the, uh, the modern setting without changing anything, it really uh, does sound great in that setting. Pedal off. So if you want to use this to push, you know, already overdriven amplifiers, I think uh, I think it works really good for that. I just wanted you guys to be able to check that out. Um, as a matter of fact, with it just on, the way it's set. I'll go back to the Sur, which is the amp I always use, the Bella. So there's clean. So it still sounds great, you know, if you're going to use it to push a really clean amp. But I did want to show, you know, how it sounds, you know, hitting an amp that's semi overdriven. So that is the, uh, the Honeybee uh, Overdrive by One Control. Go to the website and, and check things out if you've got further questions about it. And as always, I really appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you next time.